what's up you guys i'm back with another video and this time it's going to be about me doing my 3d flowers because i know some of my uh nail baddies period asked me to do a nail um a flower tutorial hey y'all see this is for y'all um anyway and plus i got tired of doing red nails like no lie so i decided to do some spring press-ons and i am going to sell these these are to sell so i just wanted to show you guys how i do my 3d flowers so I'm using dynamic supply monomer and 100% acetone. So I did put a little bit more acetone than monomer. And this bead did come out a little dry. So I did have to add a little pressure on to create my flower. But the other beads that I create of the flowers it will come out smooth. But this one, I just had not enough monomer on my brush. So I'm just trying to mold this flower um yeah so you guys yesterday i did not do a voiceover on that video because i was like so busy yesterday that i did not get a chance to do a voiceover so i just played some music and um yeah that was just <laughs> that was it was so busy yesterday i don't know why i commit myself to doing all these videos every day like it's really hard to actually film every day so i give it to people that vlog because that is so difficult um, so right here, I'm just dipping my brush and you guys make sure you keep your brush pointy so that way you're able to mold the brush and press down so you can create that flower effect. Like you want to make sure you press down in the middle right here. Sometimes I wait just a little bit just to see it like kind of form like It'll look dull, like it won't look as shiny. So that means it's time for you to press down on it to create your flower. Listen, are y'all ready for spring summer nails? Because I'm ready for spring and summer nails. My birthday is in March, so I got to think of what type of birthday nails. I have a good amount of time to figure out what kind of birthday nails I want to do for myself. I don't know if I want to do press-ons, acrylic press-ons, or if I want to just do an acrylic set on my hands. I'm not sure. I don't know what I want to do. But I do want to start doing some spring um, press uh, <laughs> I can't even think. I do want to start doing spring nails, like spring sets. So if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see, um, just comment down below. Let me know what kind of tutorials you would like to see. But I'm, I'm going to be looking and try to figure out some stuff. I know this set right here came out so cute. Like, I love yellow. I love baby blue. Like, I just had to use those colors in this set. It came out so cute. And also, I tried the... Um, let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial on acrylic press-ons. Because I'm just now starting to learn how to do acrylic press-ons. And if you want to see me go through that phase of learning how to do acrylic press-ons. Because, like I said before, like I mentioned before, I do want to start a press-on business. So just let me know if you guys are, if there's people that's interested in learning how to do press-ons, like acrylic press-ons and stuff like that. So just comment down below and let me know. And I'll be willing to show you guys, you know, how I get started. And, you know, right now I'm just going through the process of creating a logo, um, you know, my little nail postcards to put them on. You know, I came up with the concept, the ideas, the colors, the theme of what I want my logo to be. So, you know, like I said, if you guys want to see that, just comment down below and let me know because I'm always willing to help.
Also, I know a lot of people put their stones, like if they're going to use gems or whatever, they usually put their stones first or their crystals first. They lay them down first and then apply the flower beads. But me personally, I just decide to put my flowers first, then put my stones. That's just my personal preference because when I first started with the uh, flowers, I would mess up and the acrylic will get on my stones and that would just it would just mess up the stone so me personally it's a personal personal preference that i put my stones after i apply i just make sure i leave enough space to put like a stone or a gem in the middle of it I just want to say thank you guys for watching and tuning into my tutorial. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. If you have any comments, um, anything you want to learn or anything you want me to put in the description below, if you want to get something that I didn't list or show in a video, comment down below. Let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, you guys. Mwah.